Remember a few days ago, just before the by-election in Toronto, St. Paul, Christian Freeland said something. It was really pathetic and off-color and disgusting. And a lot of other words, there's a lot of other ways you could use to uh, describe what, what she is and what she really believes and who she is as a person. I just want to remind everybody that th that these are the words that came out of her mouth before she lost the by-election. And maybe this is one of the reasons why. That is Leslie's vision. That's the liberal vision. That's why I'm really calling on the people of St. Paul's to go out there and vote for her. Because the alternative is really cold and cruel and small. The alternative is cuts and austerity, not believing in ourselves as a country, not believing in our communities and in our neighbors. So you heard that, right? The deputy prime minister. The alternative is cold, cruel, and small. Well, Miss Freeland, the only thing I can think of that's cold, cruel, and small is your shriveled little black heart. Like, what an insufferable person she is. Every time she speaks, forget the demeanor she's twitching all the time. Forget her, her squeaky little voice. Just to pretend that, like, she's so good and just above the rest, any alternative is cold, cruel, and small. And then what happened the day after? She lost, Her party lost an election, a by-election that is in the downtown heart of Toronto, super, super liberal Toronto. And the Conservatives, who haven't won an election there since 1988, just won. Maybe it's because of rhetoric like that that just makes you so off-putting and just no one wants to deal with you. And then she has an interview, I think it was yesterday, where she was kind of talking about the loss, which was great. You can just see the look on her face. Just, she ate her own words. And guess whose riding is right to the south of Toronto St. Paul? Toronto University riding. Guess whose riding that is? Christia Freeland. Apparently that's a strong liberal safe hold too. Just like Toronto St. Paul's was. She looks really nervous because maybe it's not so safe after all. Especially when you continue to talk to Canadians like they're seven years old. No one likes that. No one wants to hear from you anymore. No one gives a shit about what you have to say. And they just, they can't read the room. And now apparently there's multiple liberal MPs from Ontario who have reached out to journal uh, journalists anonymously because they're so scared of what the consequences might be, saying that they want Justin Trudeau to go because no one is going to vote for anyone who's in his cabinet. They're done with the whole party. Until Trudeau's gone, at least. Does Trudeau want to go? Nope. He's not going to listen. Even if there's just more and more pressure over the summer while the question period in the House of Commons and Parliament has been adjourned, maybe there's going to be even more pressure and then he has no choice in September. But he does have a choice. I mean, unless Mary Simon forces him to, which I don't think she will. Then again, she is a liberal. Maybe she's seeing the damage being caused by Justin Trudeau. Maybe she feels like, you know what, let's switch it up now. And instead of getting our asses kicked and letting the, the Conservatives win 225 to 250 seats, maybe let's just do some damage control here. Because right now, the 2025 federal election for the Liberals, if you're any kind of intelligent, which would, it would hard to be, uh, intelligent being in that party but if you are intelligent you know that this is just damage control at this point you can't win it's over you're not going to win any toss-up or barely any toss-ups you're not flipping any conservative writings over and you might even lose more liberal safe holds it's all about damage control so if mary simon thinks hey listen we can get him out of here and get i don't know and that's the problem with that too no one else is popular in that cabinet they're all a bunch of losers Elitist, globalist losers, and Canadians are sick of it. So I don't know, which globalist, which WEF puppet do you want to go with? Mark Carney? I think he's the most popular. Okay, maybe you don't lose as bad. Maybe it's only 210 or 215 seats. But at this point, it's just how badly are we going to get this shit kicked out of us? 
and that's what the liberals are worried about, it's what they should be worried about. Let me know what you think in the comment section about Christian Freeland's ridiculous comments. Uh, who do you think should replace the Liberal Party? Do you even think we should have a Liberal Party? I know a lot of you, including myself, could make a very good argument that it could just just abolish it. We abolish it. You already got two left-wing parties. You don't need two. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Also, just wanted to let you know and remind you that if you don't mind, I really uh, would appreciate you smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel. It really, really helps the channel grow and you know further monetization. I really, really appreciate every single one of you who watch, like, subscribe, and comment, whether it's a positive or a negative comment. I always enjoy reading them. I enjoy hearing different people's perspectives. Uh, so thanks again so much, guys, for watching. I'll be back shortly with another video. Take care.